Well, it's Thursday about one o'clock. Getting ready for the market. Four to seven today. King's Grant Farmers Market. I got my first customer. I had to pick. Yeah, I had to pick them up this morning. It's an axe and hen, a hatchet, and some knives. We'll take a look at them in a minute. We have something new. Since I knew I was going to be doing these axes and hatchets. I've been watching a few videos of people and they do really well initially starting out with a belt sander. This is a 1 3 by 18 and I got 120 grit it comes with. I have a 50, a 80 and another 120 in that bag right there. So let's take a look what's in that bag right there and we'll, we'll go from there. Well, we've got a hatchet and it's not in too bad a condition. We need to clean it up some and then put it on the belt sander. We have a big axe that needs to clean it up and it needs the uh, angle grinder first. Get those edges there cleaned off a little bit. Make her a little prettier. And then we have a towel with some knives in it. Mm. Looks like four kitchen knives. There's a big chef's knife, Cuisinart. I presume it's a set of Cuisinarts. Yep. Got a little tip missing on that one a little bit. And a baby Santuco. Not too bad a shape. No, I don't see many nicks or anything in them. Uh, maybe a little dishwasher action. Maybe not. Okay, let's go to work. I will say one thing, it's noisy. Does a good job. I can't make out a name on this axe anywhere. But the hatchet is a C. Hammond. Cast steel. C. Hammond, Philadelphia. Okay. There goes the best of it. Collecting money. He's a money collector. It's a uh, 344. And we got our first customer. We got a Chinese para, a Eversharp, a saw blade, and a nice Rogers knife from Japan. All righty. Well, it looks like nice Zilla day today. I got, I don't know what this is, some type of maybe fillet knife. Then I've got three, four, I don't know what the big one is. I believe it's the same as the little ones. Hoffritz, you can see it right there. H-O-F-F-R-I-T-Z, made in Germany. What do you charge for shopping? It depends on the length. This one's like four dollars. That was like nine, eight. It depends. Okay. About this was nine. You know, okay. from about ten to three, somewhere in that range. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm 
going to bring them next time. Okay, be here two weeks from today. Yep. And then, along came Jones. Another lady strolled up. We got a nice shun, a shoon, I should say. If you remember last week, we did one of these. She said this was a grandfather's fish fillet knife. Remember the one we did? It's the exact same night, Western. An old, nice taquito. She's got two rodders in, in excellent condition and one big old cut coat. So, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five here and six here. And we're finishing up those. A knife day is started. Did you look in your pocketbook? What's your charge, sir, if you don't mind my asking? What? I'm starting to catch up now. These are elopers and hedge trimmers, and I got two fillet knives hiding under here that you haven't seen yet. Man, I've been so busy, I can't believe it. Well, I'm caught up. The last customer's got a Cal Cut Cal Calcutta fillet knife by Kia and an adjustable fillet knife by Cutco. It slides in and out. Remember the one we did last week on Saturday? We got another one today. Been so busy, I haven't had a chance to take a spin through the market. I finally caught up at 6:30. Got a half hour to go. Unbelievable. I hope I make it home in the nick of time. I'm running close right now. Stand by. <laughs> 